And welcome back, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube. Here's expedition number two for the day, or I guess, you know, you can call it trial number two. Uh, you know, we didn't do so well with our first trial with just the three wins. So we're going to uh, hopefully do better with this one and try to get our seven wins. We didn't have, we had too many three, fours, and five drops with our last deck. Didn't have enough ones and twos. That was our downfall. But let's get started. Let's try our second trial here. So what do we got? Ooh, we have some good ones. Thresh is pretty good. You know, has the Challenger. Soul Gorger, Withering Whale is fine. But I'm really excited about these other two. Lucian, I, I'm i a big fan of Lucian. I think Lucian is really strong. Um, and then we get Mage Seeker Conservator, which is a good one drop. And Lauren Duelist, which is a good three drop. So I really love this second uh, bucket here. You know, two mana champion that's really aggressive. Trindamir is an eight mana champion, but is just super, super powerful. Trindamir has, you know, eight, four trample whenever uh, it would die. It levels up and it levels up to just be a nine, nine with overwhelm, which is just trample. But then we get battle fury gives it an ally plus eight plus four, which is kind of overkill. Babbling Bjorg is nice. It's four mana, three, three draw card. And you always draw a unit from your deck that has five plus power. So, you know, it's a way to find Trindamir. That's pretty nice, too. We just did Demacia, but I think, I just think this this middle one is just so good. You think Trindamir is one of the best in Expedition? That, I mean, that is true. Every time I've played a Trindamir deck, I've done well. Like, Trindamir is a, is a complete game ender. That is true. Um, that is true. <laughs> Yeah, Runeterra is kind of stressful with the, the games. That is true. All right, looking at the votes, it looks like people are really voting for the, the middle column. This is just, just a good, solid one, two, three, and Lucian being a two-drop. I like how if we take Lucian right away, we can take a ton of Senna's also and really focus on Lucian Senna. I don't like these buckets. I mean, we can just go do the same. We basically just make draft the exact same deck we just had by taking Karma. Um, Callista, I mean, we can go this route also, which maybe this is the route to go. Demacia is boring. It is boring. It's really efficient and strong. Callista is kind of weak though. Yeah. Two toughness is, is a bad number to have. Um, Rekindler is a really good card. Get back a champion. And, you know, we can go try to go like a sacrifice theme. Ezreal does not really pair with Demacia. So, I mean, are we just are we just going to have to just draft the exact same deck we just had? Callista Lucian is a good curve. That is a good curve. I, I think I just want to take this because I don't want to draft the exact same deck we just did. <laughs> you know, so I want to... I kind of want to just draft a different deck, so a little bit different at least. So I guess we're going to go this route. Plus, we can we can kind of go into like the sacrifice theme because we have Butcher. And even though Mage Seeker Conservatory is a Demacia card, it's a really good thing to sacrifice. So we can kind of just go straight to the sacrifice thing. Duelist also works with like the things that we want to sacrifice, like the creatures that can't block. But they don't want to block them. We can give them Challenger and force them to block. So Ancient Crocolith works really well if we want to just kind of start building on like all the things that we want to sacrifice. Crocolith is great at doing that. Back-to-back's a good trick. Um, Chronicle of Ruin is our payoff, another good payoff. Like So Crocolith and Chronicle of Ruin are both good payoffs. Ruin's probably a better payoff. Ruin's probably stronger than Crocolith, to be honest. And then we get Vengeance, good removal spell. I think we'd probably go with the Chronicle of Ruin. Yeah, Chronicle Chronicler is nice. Let's go with that. And you know, you get Vengeance. Can't go wrong with a, a murder. So we want to find things that we want to die. So Scribe Sorrows, Crocolith, this definitely helps our sacrifice theme. Um, this one does not. Vile Feast 
and Withering Whale. That kind of gives us a couple of removal spells, and this gives us a little Spider Link to sacrifice. I think I want to go with... I kind of want to get the Crocolith, because I think it's it's harder to find the cards that reward you for sacrificing more than the things to sacrifice, I think. But I could be wrong. We do have a lot of rewards for sacrificing already in our deck. Maybe we just take the removal spells. Okay. All right, I'm going to take the removal spells. Yeah, we'll take the removal spells. All right, I love love butcher. We need the you know two mana one one that whenever you sack it you make a four four. That's what we need to find. Black spear is good. I don't really like splinter soul that much. Aristocrat's good. That's a that's a good sacrifice thing. And then grasp the undying. Wait, I thought what's withering wheel deal one and then heal three. Oh no i thought i was thinking that was grasp the undying <laughs> oh that card's not really that great hmm i want butcher and, and aristocrat those are the two cards i want the most and then i'd say the third card i'd want is black spear <laughs> and so unfortunately none of those are together i don't want haunted relic and i don't Grasp the Undying is perfectly fine, though. Drain three from a unit. This is perfectly fine. So I think we'll take this one over here. Yeah, Withering Will can definitely be good. It, it's Yeah, it can be good for sure. Um, I don't, I don't want these cards. These cards don't fit my plan too well. I, I'm i kind of thinking this middle column, just get another removal spell, which which then we're basically good on removal spells, and we can just kind of take creatures from then on, um, and a Mist Wraith. You know, one one drop, two drop isn't, you know, isn't the worst either. Scythria is a, a good one drop, you know, just a one mana, two, two is, is perfectly fine. Could just take one drop, two drop. Thermogenic is probably the most... Yeah, Thermogenic is the most powerful card out of all of these. It's a different region. But it's the most powerful card. But then Golden Crush Bot's like the worst card out of all these. I mean, maybe Border Lookout. These are these are the two worst cards. And of course, it's a different region. All right, looks like everybody's voting for this middle one. All right, we'll get the middle one. Uh, rekindler ancient crocolith that'll be our second rekindler oh man ethereal remitter is so good this card is so good you get a random follower from any region that costs two more that card's just awesome i don't really love remembrance but i think remitter is just so good And it's it's not it's not really like remembrance isn't that bad. You, know, you get a five cost thing for six, but it costs one less, so you know you can get it for cheaper potentially. Yeah, I'm gonna go with this. That's true. All the five mana Demacia cards are pretty good. We haven't found the things to sacrifice too much. I'm glad we took that hapless aristocrat. We haven't found our sacrifice fodder. I think I'm going to take this this third column. I need to start kind of lowering this curve a little bit. Oh, they get the 5-5 five, five lifelinker. Yeah, that's a good card. Do I already have a Scribe of Sorrows? No, I only have Callista and Duelist. Yeah, we're going to just take this third column. There we go. Good one drop to sacrifice. Eh. Oh, good one drop to sacrifice and skitter. I like I like this middle one more than the first one. And then black spear and grass. We're we're already good on kind of removal. Let's we're gonna take the aristocrat and the skitter. Our sacrifice stuff. No, playing this new game. Sectal Rex, that's awesome. Legends of Runeterra. 
All right, Redeemer is a really good quality card, and then Scythera is a good one drop. So I like that that one. Um, I don't really like fresh offerings, and possessions possession is pretty good. You can do some cool stuff with possession. And then Mist Call, uh, meh. Chronicle of Ruin is awesome. We can probably do some cool stuff with Mist Calls too. Hmm, I like this one too. I like both of those, the first and the third. First one, of course, is better on the curve. I think I'm going to go with this. Chronicle of Ruin is really good. Ugh, Commander Ledros is awesome. Back to back can be really powerful too. Man, that just that's our top end stuff. That's expensive stuff. None of this stuff is that that cheap though. Wraith Caller is really good too. We're just going to take Ledros. Ledros is just back breaking and back to back can be back to back breaking. Okay. First one, we get a, a one drop to sacrifice and a thing that gets a four Demacia. Detain and single combat, so some removal spells. I don't like the detain though. Mark of the Isles and a Black Spear. Black Spear is good. Mark of the Isles. We can we can kind of we can use Mark of the Isles also. Maybe this last column. It's either the first or the last column. I think this first column, because these are both things that draw a card. You know, like this is one mana one one. Whenever it dies, we get a six drop. And this is three mana three three. Whenever you play it, you get a six drop. So like these are both they're both, you know, draw cards. Got a crocolith. So right now we got four of the one drops. It's not a ton of them. We have four. We basically want like two of them in play to be able to play crocolith. We're we're really not getting the the two mana one one that whenever it dies you get a four four. That's the card that I really want, and we haven't seen that at all yet. I'm pretty sure it's a common. Hmm. Cause we don't want to like sacrifice something useful for this really. Which I feel like we'll have to do too often. I just don't want Brood Awakening either. Hmm. So I don't really want the Crocolith, don't really want the Brood Awakening. I don't really want the Grasp. Those are my three least favorite cards and they're split. Looks like people are voting for the just take the middle one. Maybe I guess we could just do that. It'll be our second. Yeah, Scribe of Sorrows is good, so we'll take that. All right. Um, get another Rekindler and a Splinter Soul. Meh. Dawn Speakers. Ooh, Dawn Speaker is good. And Stirred Spirits. Grant your supported ally plus three plus zero and Ephemeral. That can be good. Dawn Speakers is awesome. Blade Keeper, Protege. Like, those are good cards, too. We'll take this one because it has a two drop. I mean, this card, I mean, still a two mana three, two. We can always, we don't ever have to use its ability. It's still a two mana three, two. So it's still a two drop. All right. We can do some trades. Um, I'm going to do this last trade. I'm going to just take a ruination because you can just, you know, people don't, you know, like we're not, people aren't playing around ruination. It's not like withering whale is kind of whatever. Anyway, we're just going to take this ruination. So it's nine mana Wrath of God. Uh, we can definitely get some people with that. All right, here we go. Expedition two. It didn't didn't really end up as strong as I was hoping, to be honest. 
Um, didn't get some of the cards that I really wanted to see. But we're gonna try. We're gonna try it out. Yuck! Wow. This couldn't really go worse. I'm Thanks, EDL. Here. Oh, that thing costs three. I'll do my best. Can I do I can't do this and then block with the one one, can I? I don't think I can. Because you have to you have to hit skip block to let this resolve. If I didn't pass, yeah, but then then they probably wouldn't attack. But I guess I would keep them from attacking. And I'll just kind of I'll just bank the mana. Nice, good luck, Blade. All right, they're just banking the mana too. A real battle. Why even try? So Scrabasaros will just draw us another duelist. Today we turn the tide of war. All right, five mana. Ooh. Oh, it's a play thing. Hmm. Yeah, I'm still. I'm gonna do this. Sacrifice for a so we're gonna kill that. Now we get a five drop instead. Ah, oh, Troop of Eldnux. That's not a better five drop. That's the first time I've really seen that not be awesome. <laughs> that was not awesome. So if I drain three from this, does it does it die? No, it won't. Okay, so if I drain that, it'll just remove the armor. Nothing can stop me. Hmm. Cut. 
Let's hope Bubs do it. Just don't really like any of my options, really. These spells are just kind of a little too expensive. Um, maybe I maybe I should have just passed and held up back to back to be able to take out the four or five that way. Maybe that's what I should have done. I could have blocked the four or five and the five four pretty easily um, with that. So we get a free block on this 4-5. Scribe of Sorrows gives me another duelist. I don't want another duelist. My journey continues. So many years, so many. Get another Scribe of Sorrows. Just gonna go infinite. Just gonna go infinite with Scribe of Sorrows. That thing's big. So if I save this for a back-to-back -back turn, that's six. That means I can spend three more mana. Play this thing. <laughs> what if we just go infinite? Let's grab a Saros. Alright, so I want... This... Here, this, here, this, there. How dare you? Block. Yep, correct. Yep, that's exactly correct. Yeah, so to trigger things that say play play you have to actually play you have to play it from your hand things that say summon that means enter the battlefield that was good of course i'm just i just need to stay alive you know like they're down to just these two creatures and two cards in hand and i have a lot of cards in hand including infinite scribe of Sor sorrows as we've seen Play another scribe, get another scribe. You just go infinite. Um, I think I will kill that. I'll just do that right now. Fair enough. We fight for those yeah, then a Garen also stop playing such big stuff. All the time. So if I play this, I'll have six mana left. I wish I had a good way to block Zed, but I don't really. Dude, this is such a crazy combination, the Scribe of Sorrows and Chronicle of Rune. You just go infinite. It 
kill that thing. Honestly, maybe no, because this regenerates. Yeah, we gotta kill that. Yeah, I'm gonna I'll still be grasping Zed. Next turn, but I just want to get rid of the Garen first. Rally? Oh no. Oh no. That's a card. Embrace the shadow. Ouch. Ouch. Well, down to one. They're out of cards in hand. That's the good news. Bad news is I can only double spell basically with what's in hand right now. Oh, I guess I guess if I would have butchered and then then I would have had remembrance cost zero. Because so obviously I definitely want to drain this thing. I guess I can do that on their turn though. Mm, maybe I can't. I could play three creatures, but then if they just go straight to combat and I try to drain grasp this thing, they still get the other four three that they get to attack with. Yeah, I think I think that's my plan, Challenger. Kill it here. Well, the bad news is they had they drew a barrier. The good news. Good news is then they don't use the the barrier on my grasp. I guess that's the good news. Right out. <laughs> Why even try? Hey, Wrinkler. Okay, trade off, trade off the battlefield. Love it. Attack do one. Oh, right. I have to have more mana for that. Really? Right. Where are you? I don't get to just keep playing stuff. Yeah, the game definitely... Yeah, it has lifelink. There's some lifesteal. I don't have any in my 
deck, but I may I may get lucky enough to find some. Bedrosite protect me. All right, so we'll have the remitter kill this this five drop, so we get a seven drop. Overwhelm, end of turn, reduce my cost by one. Yeah, that's not a good seven drop. You'll go no farther. So they get a six, they get a spell that costs six plus mana, a random spell. I hope it's not something that kills me. I hope it's like, just like, you know, vengeance, like a, just a removal spell. Like that'd be fine. That is true. Yeah, this, this could get us the five. That is, that's a good point. This could get us, there's a five mana, five, five lifesteal. You know, it gets a random five cost follower. So we could get that. Revive the six strongest units that died this game? Are you kidding me? That's the spell they got? What kind of top deck is that? Confine and contain. What kind of top deck is that? So my only block to stay alive involves me just chumping out against all this stuff. It doesn't really matter how I block, honestly. I mean, I guess, oh, I guess I can keep this thing alive. So let's keep this alive by blocking that thing. You'll go no farther. But now I'm down to one, and then they their next attack, they get to do one damage to me, so I have to, like, kill them now. That's not gonna help. I guess I can I can challenge her, though. Alright, what do we get? Do we get the 5-5 five, five lifelinker? Come on, lifelinker! Lifelink, lifelink! Lifelinker! Whew! Love it. All right, now let's play this thing. Petricide, protect me. So yeah, that's that's the life steal. Whenever it deals damage, it heals that much. Oh, there's the ruination. Um, a cut above the head. Oh, why aren't you attacking? Opponent surrendered! Alright, creatures have haste. Here. Dude, that's what I'm talking about with this game. How sweet is this game? All these all these games are so close. And just so fun. You know, we just we just outgrinded our opponent though with that. Alright, we get we get another champion now, so we can get a second Lucian. I'm all about that. Um and a Crocolith and a Black Spear, that's pretty good. We could get a Callista, which is fine, not spectacular. But we get a Rasa, and Rasa is insane. Eight mana, seven five. Whenever you play it, you kill the two weakest enemies if an ally died this round. That card is insane. And then you get a possession, which you can do some cool stuff with possession. So I like that too. Or we could get a Thresh. And then what? A Harrowing? Oh, that's that card that my opponent just had. Revive the six strongest units that died this game. Grant them a ephemeral. So they just, you know, they go away at end of turn, but. Um that one that card's not very good. We're not we're not going to do that last one. It's definitely one of these first two. 
basically, I like Lucian more than Callista, but Rasa Rasa's probably the best card out of any of these. Um, and yeah, we can do like possession can do some pretty cool stuff also. So we're gonna we're gonna take this one. Our deck's pretty sweet. I like our deck. <laughs> Um, I'm just going to send that Butcher back. We don't have anything to really sacrifice with it. But this other stuff's pretty good. Oh, well, there's, there's the thing to sacrifice with it. Take a look. So Miscall, revive a random ally that died this round. If we can, like, if they use, like, a removal spell on, like, our legend and that's the only thing that dies, then we can spend three mana and bring it back. That could be pretty nice. D for two. All right, so we're going to have Callista target the Mage Seeker Conservator. Because basically whenever three allies die, then it brings back that thing attacking. Um, let's see. I don't really need to give it ephemeral. It's going to die eventually anyway. I could, you know, so I could put it over here and then it's a, it's, it would be attacking as a 5-1, but then it would die at end step. But I kind of like just having this 3-1 that can just kind of keep attacking for three and whenever they kill it, that's, that's a bonus for me. So I'd rather attack for three multiple times than just attack for five once and it's gone. How did that move go? That's fine. Forces them to trade. Ooh, progress day. That's a good spell. Our deck's pretty sweet. Stirred Spirits has some good voice lines. Let's think about how like, I have the, the setup. I don't get to hear the voice lines as much. I can't really hear what they say most of the time. Uh, it kind of just blends in with the music for me. I know, like, on YouTube, it's easier to tell what they're saying. Lady Elise, where are you? Cut them down. Cut them down. You have to get me out of here. All right, so Callista will see two creatures die now. So I could play the Skitter... I think I'm just going to, uh, like, what if I just bank the mana? I'm going to just bank the mana. Because I don't have, like, a great play next turn. Next turn is going to be turn five, right? Yeah. So I have like the eight mana. I could just play Progress Day this turn and do, you know, draw three, Ancestral Recall. So we make that ephemeral. Now this can, now this thing flips, but it, it we don't get the other thing back right now because it's not attacking flipped. I don't have anything that does three damage. Let's see, if you have a, wait, if you have a, kill all units with four or less power. So all they're going to do is kill that 0-3 and this 
Yeah, that's... That's, like, not even that good. I mean, I was just gonna let that resolve, I guess. Like... And then I was still just gonna play the progress day. <clears throat> Alright, card swap. Duelist for Cursed Keeper! Ooh, Cursed Keeper, that's the card that I've, that's the card I've wanted. I like Duelist, but I'm sorry, I want I want Cursed Keeper. What else we have? We can get rid of Mist Call for Sword Soul Gorger. That that is a life linker. Or get rid of a Mist Wraith for a Repost. Uh, I'm just I want this Curse Keeper. Curse Keeper fits in our deck perfectly. Two mana, one one. Whenever it dies, you just get a four four. Whenever it dies. Yeah, if I would have grasped. That creature, yeah, would have stopped it. So I could have, I could have basically countered their spell by grasping, because then they wouldn't have had a power five or greater thing anymore. But yeah, it may not have been worth the mana. I agree. Well, I'm glad we get to attack on turn two, so we can play Lucian and attack immediately. Confine and contain. That's a good card. That's a good card. So I want my creatures, I want Lucian to see the creatures die. Don't get in my way. Track them down. So they're they're definitely a last breath kind of deck also. I go home. Just a second. It sounds like my dogs might be scratching something. I'll be right back. I'm just gonna check on them. True shot barrage? That card's good. I guess. No, I guess they stopped. Ooh. That's a good combo. So, yeah, Lucian flips at four things. Um, so the obvious play is just play Curse Keeper and then sack the Curse Keeper. But I'm not going to actually sack the Curse Keeper here. We're going to go, yeah, we're going to go Keeper, and then next turn we're going to Chronicler the Keeper and then sack the keeper and then attack with a whole bunch of stuff. This is going to be a crazy turn here. So we're going to chronicler this thing. This is why I needed this is why I really wanted this card. Cuz now we get a 4/4 four four cuz it died. But chronicler says kill it then revive it. Hey Naismith. And then now we get to do this. Now we get to sacrifice this and get another 4-4. Four, four. Hey, Econometric. Um, I don't know if I am. I, what does he want from me? This game is just is really, really solid. And I'm just really enjoying it. And I want to just kind of keep on playing this game. Yep, and we're going to put Lucian on the right. Attack out. Because the damage happens from left to right. Um, and so Lucian says, you know, whenever four creatures die, then it flips. So a creature died, so now Lucian flips. And now Lucian has double attack. You know, double strike. So now they're they're pretty dead. <laughs> that was my turn four. That was crazy. That was a crazy turn. That was my second attack turn. The other, the other cards that my opponent had couldn't block. Like, they couldn't block with that much stuff. We can add another champion to the deck? Already we're at the add a new champion again? 
Um, well, dang. This is a hard choice. All right, we're not going to go Thresh. We're going to go either Lucian or Callista. Lucian is, again, more powerful than Callista. We already have two Callistas, so I really want to take Lucian. We also get Rasa, and again, Rasa is busted. Scuttlegeist is, is not bad either. Um, this one, though, you get Senna, and so Senna obviously pairs so well with Lucian, but we're just going to take this one. We're going to take Lucian and Rasa. Our deck is actually pretty, pretty busted. Yeah, Senna and Remember too, but no, I, I like, I like, I'll take Lu Lucian and Rasa. Will it be a good substitute for Fiora? Um, basically just another, uh, the, the 2-4 challenger, the common 2-4 challenger, you can play that. That's what I had in there before I, I got the Fiora. Oh, not a good hand. Not like that last game that was busted. This is one of the best one drops. In the the buffed elusives, the rank deck that we're gonna play next, I'm basically splashing this region just for this omen hawk here. This one one that grants the top two cards. Plus one plus one. How's this game compared to Arena? Um, honestly, I'm just enjoying it a lot more. It, uh, let's see, I do not want to attack there. I'll just pass. It, like all the games are really interesting and you don't have to worry about like mana screw, but it's it's really nice where both player, like the play draw thing isn't that big a deal. Both players are playing creatures each turn. Like there's just a turn and just the turn is one person attacks one person defends but both players like they attack but i'm playing a creature kind of thing um we shall their so there's so much strategy of like when when to attack how to order your attackers um there's just so much strategy in this deck. All right, so this is a Callista's Black Spear now. Whenever you have a um, champion and you play a champion and you have a second copy of that champion in hand, instead of that second copy just being a dead champion, because it's like a you know it's like a legendary card in Magic, you can only have one of them in play, like a Planeswalker. Instead of that, then it turns while it's in your hand and you have the other one in play, it turns into a spell, and so you can you can still cast the spell. Um, or you can wait, and whenever this dies, it'll turn back into the champion again. What's the best path to get started? Let's see. Honestly, I would like basically I would kind of do it exactly how I did it. Uh, you can you can first just like the the beginner decks that they give you are pretty solid, and you can just play those. You know, I played those in ranked just the first day just to kind of practice and and get uh, kind of a, a feel for the mechanics and and combat and all that kind of stuff. You know, after the tutorials, and then. I'm surprised they're not blocking Callista, honestly. Oh, wait, Callista's fearsome. Oh, I messed that up. Oh, I messed that up. I forgot about that. Oh, I was just talking. I forgot about that part of the card. So because I had Callista on the right of that card, then it turned into Ephemeral, so then it just dies after it deals damage. I needed, it. I needed to switch that. I need to have that on the left. Whoops. Take a look at this. Um, but anyway, and then then once you kind of get a hang of it, then start playing some some of these things that I'm doing right now. These expeditions. They give you a lot of experience. 
to earn rewards. Yeah, I'm going to try to revive it. Hey, there we go. We revived it. But I guess we don't we don't get the bond anymore. So it's actually maybe not even that great. Yeah, that was that was really bad. That was definitely really bad. Um... So this is probably going to kill me. They just gave it plus 8, plus 4. And that's not... That doesn't go away. That's just plus 8, plus 4. There we go. Vengeance. Never mind. I'm just basically trying to think if I just wait, or like if there's any reason to wait, basically. But no, we just do it first. So the bond does stay forever with Callista, but not. Oh, I don't know. Maybe maybe that bond still stays there, but because because like this is like a new Callista, so. The... But I'm not sure actually. Whoa, Zerf with that resub. Y'all get some hype, Zerf with that tier three resub. Thank you, Zerf. the name I need the reputation so this is just a regular old three three thanks surf okay we don't have the bond anymore okay good to know ooh dawn speakers whenever any of our creatures dies then it anthems the rest Good strong card. All right, five, two, three, three. Yes, we can grasp. We can grasp. Drain three. Gain. Gain three. You know, drain. You know, drain. Uh, means deal three. Gain three. 
I'm gonna do that on this thing because this thing gives one of their allies quick attack. These aren't too scary on their own. It's just a generic 5-2 and a generic 3-3, three, three, basically. I guess it's not really generic, but close enough. Alright, so they just played Entreat. This has draw a champion. So they either drew Trindamir, Anivia, or Katarina. Those all sound scary. Trindamir in particular. All right, Callista's not bonded to anything. I'm just going to have Callista trade off. Because we have a new Callista that we can bond with. Yeah, if they got Trindamir, that's going to be real bad. <laughs> yeah, bond with Ledros. I don't know how that would work, how Ledros returns to hand... If it dies. Alright, so I get to play... Push back the darkness. I get to play two of the three drops and Lucian. I'm not sure exactly which of the two three drops I want to play yet. I kind of like bonding Callista and Lucian. Only the finest serve. Well, that's good. And then I guess I'm going to do Dawn Speakers. I mean, I could, I could go Duelist and give the Lucian Challenger and then, you know, fi make them, force them to block with their 5-4 and kill it. Like, that doesn't sound bad either. The strength of our convictions. Oh, that's true. I could Dawn Speaker's end of round. I wouldn't have to do that right away, would I? Bring in the heat. They they do seem like they're they're holding up mana for a trick. Definitely what it seems like. Hold the line. No, maybe not. All right, so Katarina, three, Anivia, Anivia is seven. My blade okay, they drew Trindamir. Well, I got Ledros. Ledros and ETB. Cut their nexus in half. I'll do it myself. Round it up. And then last breath, it comes back to my hand. They can't, no, they don't have the mana for the plus eight, plus four. No! Ugh. So basically they just, you know, use the removal spell. Now eight trample and I'm at seven. Dang. Dude, Trindamir. Trindamir is a bomb. That card is a bomb. All right, we get to do a swap. We could grab another Commander Ledros. We don't need another one. We got we got top end. We got one Ledros. We got two Rasas. We got a Ruination. We got top end. We don't need to do that swap. We could trade Possession for Repost. I could see doing that trade. 
or we could trade Mage Seeker for Soul Gorger. We're not doing that, no. So we're not doing the first or the third. Um, I think I want to keep possession. I think it's, yeah, we're going to keep possession. We're just going to skip this trade. Okay, uh, we cannot lose again because you can't you can't lose two in a row. So we just lost one. Got to win the next one. Got to win this next one. A angel. Any angel. Five and seven mana spells. Those go. Ooh, this is good. I think if I didn't mess that, you know, like maybe we would have won that if I didn't mess that other, you know, that one turn up. I really did mess that game up pretty bad. I'm sorry, yellow snappers. I'm just now playing, getting into this game. Protect me. I start a new new chapter in life. Track them down. The spiders are really scary in expedition. Pretty decent. Good, yeah, pretty good. I know what lurks. Elise. There's a chill in the air. So this is nice because So like yeah, they attack. I'm definitely gonna block. But I'm not gonna block with this, even though that's usually a good trade for me. I don't want to do that because I'm gonna play the scribe of sorrow. Because then that's going to create a copy in hand of an ally that died this game. And so obviously our only ally that's died this game was Lucian. So we just get to put Lucian back in our hand. So that's pretty awesome. Oh, they did the same thing. <laughs> they get their Elise back. All right, fair enough. Uh... I don't know. I don't know. Like the best one to say, "Nice job." I wanted like a thumbs up. There's nothing to fear. That makes their attack pretty bad. Hmm. Let me change into something more comfortable. So I can I can basically I can cast Ruination next turn if I bank two mana, which means I'd have three mana to spend. And the three mana to spend. Three mana to spend would only be on it for a creature, but if I'm gonna play Ruination next turn, I don't really want to do that. I did find out we get to, we get to pet the Poro. Alright, and they tell me how I, how to block. Oh, they have this thing whenever another ally dies, deal six. I'm going to take five for this. Oh, I take, wait, I take zero? Well, now I take one. Because this thing's not on the battlefield, so it doesn't, it doesn't see it.
Ooh, True Shot Barrage is a great draw also against like what my opponent's doing. That's a great draw from my 1-1. One, one. Okay, if they die at the same time, it doesn't trigger. Gotcha. So that's, yeah, so that's a different thing from Magic. Seven mana. I think it's a five four. It's a little too big. Don't get in my way. I guess I'm going to save this. Oh, wow. Rasa, what a draw. Um, speaking of what a draw. All right, so we're going to do three to this, two to this, one to that. Got to get that Elise out of here. Is that a fast spell? I guess it is. So maybe I should have just played another. No, because then I couldn't like block very well. Victory requires a sharp blade. By the strength of our convictions. Um. Honestly, I feel like this game's like the games feel more complex than Magic games. Now, as far as, like, the, the entirety of, like, um... They're all tapped out, pal. Hmm. Kill the two weakest allies? Oh, but something else has to die this turn. Um, you know, like, this is still the very first set. Like, you know, they're going to be making, it looks like, three sets a year and everything, and it's going to just continue to, to expand. But we are just on the very first set, but it's still... It's, it looks really, really promising. Five, six, seven, eight. It's me taking eight damage. Don't duck on my account. Yeah, maybe I could. Yeah, that. Yeah, I could have. Yeah, I could have done the one damage to the Trifarian, and so then it would have been a five three, and so then I could trade in combat instead of killing another two one. That that may have been a better line. So I got nine mana, so I can play a four, a three, and a two. Which, it's just basically, which three do I want to play? Do I want to play the Callista or the Chronicler of Ruin? Five, three. So For 
That makes my life worse. So I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to block with the Callista also. We're gonna have to just basically block out. I hope they play something before combat. Actually, they did. Because I mean I could wait till after combat and play the Rasa, but I think it's better to just steal steal that. That makes attacking for them pretty rough. Now they attack in, I get to just block. A Demacian soldier is worth tenfold. So it's the two weakest enemies if an ally died. Right now, unfortunately, like, that's kind of rough because, you know, they have the, these two 1-1s. One the deck list, um... Oh, I guess this one because we're playing an expedition. I don't have I don't have a deck list. Um, Take a look at this. Nothing escapes my notice. I have a backup Rasa. I'll just play it, I guess. I don't... I'm just worried about staying alive. Good chance. I should, probably should have attacked with like the 3-2 also. Probably could have done that. Oh man, that card is great. Well, they don't... Oh, they don't get another one. Wow, because they don't have the room. Because they only have the six creatures. They they don't have a they don't have the room. That would have been a really good card. It would have been two two ones that have challenger, so they would have been able to force my blocks. That would have been a great card. How does Ash attack? Oh yeah, yeah. Ash lets you know. I think if they have the same power, then it checks toughness next, and then if they have the same power and toughness, then it checks then it checks mana cost i think that's usually the like whenever you're like doing stuff with the creatures with the same power i need three creatures to die for callista to transform. Did I have did I have the mana to do that to possession and then chronicler their thing that I possessioned? Oh gosh. Um I'm just gonna cast this for I mean obviously they want to attack if they're doing that. I'm just gonna cast this for Demacia for Demacia. Make their attacks not so good, hopefully. All right, come on, give me a good spell. Kill an ally to deal damage equal to its power to anything. Okay. Okay. So let's see. So I'll kill this 7-5 Trampler. Meet them head on. Mm, I guess I have to block over here. These are just all going to trade. Wait. Uh, this isn't going to work. 
Still gonna die though. Couldn't couldn't keep Callisto alive even with that. Seventeen to two. No, 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 no. Please, I have connections. That was a good draw for them. You know, draw two. So glad that thing has burst. So I get to block with both. Because these things can only be blocked by creatures with power three or greater. Playing against a real person, yeah. For the head. Does this? I don't know if this works. <clears throat> oh no, we don't. We don't get to revive the other, our other dead one. Five four challenger. Yeah, yeah. If Rasa dies, then it will come back. Oh, that's good. That's life gain. Drain three. Man, just drawing some haymakers here. All right, that should be game. That should be game. Round 17. Now Rasa comes back. Boom. Dude, our deck is sweet. Dude, right? Crazy game, edge of your seat. This game is awesome. GG's. All right, let's see what do we get. So we can trade the back-to-back -back for a Scuttle Geist. That's not, that's not a terrible trade. The back-to-back's been really great for us, though. Uh, Miss Call for Fleet Feather Tracker or Chronicle of Ruin? No, no, that last trade's terrible. Do we want to trade Miss Call for Fleet Feather Tracker? I could see doing that. Miss Call. Hmm. I could see doing that, getting another one drop. Tracker's a pretty good one drop too. I think I like that. I think the one drop.
<clears throat> Especially one drop challenger. So we can use it as removal. One mana removal spell. I don't love the Sergeant, but it's not the worst. It's a perfectly fine card to pair with Callista. This is where we draw Lucian. Right here, Lucian. <laughs> Close. Yep, yep, keep getting four Demacias like whenever this comes back. Discipline and steal. Show them our metal. Tearing up the iron ranks right now. Awesome, QQ. Thanks. Uh, sorry, slurs. We'll go sorry. Thanks, sorry. So 5-3, quick attack. You can drain three. I'm going to do that. You can't go above 20 life. So even though this is supposed to be deal three, gain three, we can't go above 20. Give an ally tough. So I'd only dealt two. Go ahead, scare me. <laughs> Don't get in my way. All right, we're going to pair Callista and Lucian. The fate of mortals and spirits falls to me. We, we shall not rest until all is ready. Now, I, I didn't block there because I'd want to chump block the next turn. Peace. I guess I should probably just be sending in with the 3-3 also. Stay back. No, Senna. Don't kill Lucian. Why not attack with Callista? Because Callista's a 4-2. They have a 2-5. Oh! I guess they couldn't block it. Right. I forgot about the fearsome part of Callista. Did forget about the fearsome part of Callista. That's terrible attack. Darn it. Purity I figured it out. And So Callista seen two creatures die now. What do you do? Oh, rally?
This isn't actually this isn't really a good attack. But they don't know that. I mean it's it's fine, I guess. You know, they get a free block with the 7-6. But then I'm gonna Yeah, I could try to kill the 7-6 with the with this thing. With the black spear. Immediately. Hey, what's up, Vendor? Yeah, we're do this is an expedition deck that's awesome. We've got two Lucians, two Callistas. Our deck's pretty good, but we're kind of behind here. Behind just a little bit. If only, if only this still cost seven mana. They nerfed it to cost eight. I have seven mana. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You think I'll get a second Lucian if I attack with Callista now? Probably not, right? Because this Lucian never died. Right? That Lucian did die? Right, I do get another Lucian. Not so fast. I do get another Lucian. Because that Lucian did die at one point. So it can still so it can be revived. So these are gonna trade, which is going to be the fourth creature that this Lucian has died, so it's going to transform. Eyes open. They both level? So the... Oh, man, the other one's going to level too? Wow, this is sweet. Too bad. I, I am at eight, and they have this flyer. It's a lifelinker. If they can, like, pump up that flyer a whole bunch, I can't... Do anything about that. So that's how my opponent can win this. Against double Lucian. I sense fear. Well, that's probably a good sign for me. That flyer is gone. And now this Lucian transforms. Double attack. No, Lucian. No, Lucian. Sweet. We have two double attack Lucians that the first time any ally dies, then we get to rally and we get to attack. Oh, man. Oh, man. Let's talk about combo. Kill an ally, then revive it. We can do that with the Cursed Keeper, then we get to attack. Yeah, that combo rallies us. Um... 
I could do it immediately on like a Lucian and then just attack right away, but I think it's probably better to play the Curse Keeper first. Yeah, what a combo on the draw. Because, yeah, we're supposed to be on defense this turn, but we're going to be attacking. If I had one more mana, I could just do this and then do the four Demacia, and that could be kind of cool. I'm going to attack now. You got your attack in? You good? My turn? Yeah, glad they didn't have a pump. If they just didn't block with that 2... They blocked with that 2-2 two -two flyer. If they just didn't block that 2-2 two -two flyer, they would have had me. That's must, That must have been what they were thinking about. I'm really glad they didn't block with that 2-2 two -two flyer. I should have lost that. They didn't know that it had no removal. All right, card swap. We can. I like our Skitterer. For a box? No. Duelist for a Scribe of Sorrows? Maybe. Mist Wraith for Swift Wing Lancer. I like how Mist Wraith's just a two drop for us. Um, Duelist is good and all, but Scribe of Sorrows is kind of better. So I'm going to do this middle trade. Create a copy of an ally that died this game. So, you know, draw more cards. So, yeah, whenever I attacked, I was not able to challenge her because whenever I attacked, the 2 1 was, did not have challenger. But after, after I attacked, Callista brought back uh, Lucian, which was then the creature entering. So, then it gave my 2 1 challenger. So, it didn't have challenger at the time I attacked. Well, let's put back our top end. So yeah, I was, I was unable to because of that. All right, we get to attack first too. Cool. I'll play this hapless aristocrat. Where are you? My training is unconventional. Cool, yeah. So yep, yeah, that's, that is why. For a daring escape. And that's the combo. Surprised they didn't give that thing the, the plus one though. Walk softly, strike quickly. Discipline and steal. Or Demacia. Now I can play the Chronicler, kill the Sergeant, revive it, and then I can play the Sorrows and I get another Sergeant. That and of course, whenever this gets revived, we get another four Demacia in hand. So we can get a bunch of these four Demacias, basically. You call that sneaky? You're real happy they nerfed the old dude. It's. I think it is a nerf, but it's not too much of a nerf because as we've seen, like it. it has made like my attacks and blocks and stuff a little worse. That second toughness. It's been kind of annoying. Do not fear the shrouded path. Just drain that thing. In constructed, it's a huge nerf. Yeah, that, that one toughness in Constructed is pretty big. They'll never see me coming. No, you can only be two color. Like in uh, in Limited, you can be more colors because you can get more things. But in Constructed, you can only be two two different regions. And yeah, the, the regions kind of play a little different. And, you know, they have different champions and stuff. But you, you can only make a deck of two two regions. So you can't just... Because if you could five color, you'd just be able to play all the best stuff. Because, you know, like it doesn't... Your mana is the same. Hmm. 
<clears throat> hey, what's up, Yud? Oh, I didn't even check. Did you have the, the first thumbnail done? Forgot to check. Forgot about that. My hand's not spectacular, honestly. All right, let me update the the YouTube video with that thumbnail now. Don't let my Nexus get to zero. How am I gonna lose if I don't let it get to zero? Okay, you're supposed to leave, you have three ready. All right, this one, um, so you can see the regions here that we have for this one. Our champions are Lucian and Callista. Just go with those two for the art. No place for the kind. Darn. Protect and strike. Okay. Um I like to block here, please. They're eating my two drop. So we're gonna have six mana next turn. So my plan is to play the tracker, play the remitter, kill this Chronicle of Ruin, and turn it into a six drop. Oh, we had seven mana. It doesn't really change my plan. There we go. Reckoner's good. That's a good one. Start of round, stun an enemy. I'll take it. We're going to kill their flyer with lifelink. And just bank another mana. So we've got three mana in the bank. You sorry. 
Um, so I have 11 total. Hmm. So if we do this for six, then we'd have five left. And I'd probably want to play the Dawn Speakers. Let's recite, protect me. I think I want to keep this back to back available. Yeah, this game is very tricky. Yeah, there's a lot to do with this game. They have some kind of trick. I feel like they have some kind of trick, and I can just pass and see. And no. Yeah. Yep. Exact. Yeah, Kenda. So yeah, the, this ability here, these creatures that have this this one right here challenger means that they get to choose who blocks it if they want they can they can pull somebody to block it it's a definitely a pretty powerful ability all right so we'll have dawn speakers pump these things up yeah never played runeterra dude candace i do you gotta give this a try the games are very fun interactive real close Um, but yeah, so that's so some some creatures that's that's an ability on creatures of you get to choose who to block. We march. The mist will have you. So if I cast a four Demacia, no, I'm just gonna attack here. It's very easy for free to play. Yeah, it's the easiest game I've ever seen for free to play, and that's that's like the whole rub about it. People say it's you know better than Hearthstone. I don't know too much about Hearthstone, but everybody says it's better than Hearthstone, and I can tell you it's absolutely much much better than Magic for free to play. I I put some a little bit of money into it just because I want to you know start building different decks you know because of the stream and everything like that. If I wasn't if I wasn't streaming, if I was just playing it at home and everything, I, I'd be very confident just building the collection and getting everything without spending money. Yeah, I. So yeah, I think I'm going to change my stream title because I think that having like the the MTG as part of my stream title, I think that kind of does push push people away from like whenever they're watching they probably think that oh this person's just here for a little bit like they, they don't, probably don't you know they're probably not like an expert or you know care about this game too much or you know that kind of stuff By my honor, you must die. so rasa whenever you play we had an enemy die so kill the two weakest enemies So that's this one, two. No, deny. Ugh, that got countered. We still get a seven, five. So it's not like it's that bad for us. We still get the seven, five. But that would have been great because we would have killed two things. And then the third thing, like this stuns the weakest enemy every round. So like we would have killed two and then just stunned the other one. So they wouldn't have done anything. Oh, you're going to love the mana system here. Yeah, the mana system's amazing. Switch to Todd Steven CCG. I think I'm going to switch to something around Ho Hawktie. Yeah, that's... 
That's one of my favorite parts of the game is the mana system from playing Magic for so long. Yeah, I'm not sure Frostbite. Honestly, this game is just, just awesome and just something that I really want to play. All right, we got... Uh, so we get to trade. We get six trades. That we're going into the final boss. We're about to face the final boss. We have six trades that we can do. This is the first one. Um, I don't like this first trade. Cursed Keeper. Nope. Cursed Keeper is amazing. And then Butcher for Glimpse Beyond. I could see doing that, but I'm going to... I think I'm going to keep the Butcher. I could definitely see doing this last trade. We have... We have like five good creatures to sacrifice to play a zero mana 3-2. Butcher ha can do some ridiculous stuff, as we saw before, with like Butch Butcher and Cursed Keeper and stuff like that. But Glimpse Beyond is, is pretty nice for just against removal and everything and just being a sack draw two. I could see doing this last one. I'm not doing the first two trades. Yeah, I already, I already have one Ledros, though. I don't need a second. Like, we already have one Ledros, two Rasas, a Ruination. We have a lot of expensive stuff. I don't really need another Ledros. <laughs> yeah. You think the last trade's solid? All right, we'll do this last trade. All right, sorry, Frostbite. I, I hope you check out the game, though. I hope you do. All right, so we got Vile Feast. We can trade that for Radiant Guardian. I think I want to just keep the Vile Feast, honestly. We could trade Possession for a second Ruination or trade the Mage Seeker for a third Rasa. Um, I'm going to keep the... I definitely want to keep the Mage Seeker. That's a good card in my deck. <clears throat> this middle one's kind of intriguing. Possession is... Possession is not as good with me just trading away that zero mana Sacrifice Outlet. I could get a second Ruination and really blow people out. Possession's kind of a blowout too, though. Maybe I, maybe I just keep it. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about this middle one. What do y'all think? It's either skip or do the middle one. Let's check the votes. If, if people are voting. Most people are saying skip. Okay. All right, we'll just have the one Wrath of God. So we can trade a Grasp for a Fresh Offerings. No, thank you. Stirred Spirits for Senna. Maybe. Remembrance for Laurent Chevalier. Hmm. Okay. So, about this middle one, Senna is definitely better than Stirred Spirits. We're just going to do it. Senna is definitely better, but it, I like how Stirred Spirits is a two-drop, honestly. Because as you can see, we kind of have more threes than twos. But it's also easier to double spell with two drops and everything. But the power that Senna and Lucian can have together... Kind of undeniable. You'd skip this? You'd skip this trade here, A word? Okay, not this one. You were talking about the previous one? Okay. Hey, After Wizard, stream's going great. We are about to face the final boss. Try to get the seven win league. We're six and one. Or by League, I mean Expedition, I guess. Uh, let's see. Frenzied Skitterer for Vanguard Redeemer. Redeemer kind of fits our deck better. Skitterer is good at good on defense. It kind of, Skitterer like, helps me stay alive. But Redeemer... Redeemer kind of fits our deck better. Oh, I actually like this last trade. I think I'm going to do the last trade. I want this Black Spear more than Possession. Yeah, I want Black Spear. I'm going to do this last one. All right, win, gift, and stuff. All right, cool. A champion, it's kind of like a Planeswalker, kind of. Or, I mean, really, the, the more 
the better equiv equivalent is really a legendary creature because you know it is a creature so really a legendary creature um yeah i mean it's really a legendary creature the cool part here though is like if you have a lucian in play and you have another lucian in your hand instead of it just being a dead card in your hand because you can't play because you already have one in play it the one in your hand does turn into a spell and so you can just cast the spell and actually i i cast this spell earlier to help me win a game um and so that's so it does so like they do turn into like a second copy in your hand turns into a spell for you and actually the Callista spell helped helped me win a, a different game also chronic we're definitely not doing that first trade we're not doing any of these trades nope this is not a good trade you're welcome yeah keep yeah keep ask, asking questions Candice, and i'll i'm happy to answer them of course pit thanks for the twitch prime sub keep that going nine month streak all right and then we can do we can trade the back-to-back -back for a vanguard sergeant trade the mist wraith for a commander ledros or trade the scribe of Sars for a rekindler nope i want to keep all these i mean this one i guess lowers the curve but i think we already have a lot of three mana creatures so i want to keep this uh impactful um thing all right final battle Y'all know what to do. Final battle. Final boss time. Get those emotes in the chat. Here we go. Yeah, that's a good that's a good um, comparison. It's yeah, it's kind of like Commander, how you build your games around the legendary creatures, the champions. You or you build your deck. Sorry, you build your decks around them. That's a pretty good comparison. If we lose, we're done. We get we get one shot. And we got a, a mirror match. They are also Demacia Shadow Isles, just like me. They have Hecarim. So they're definitely they're gonna be really ephemeral based. Very ephemeral based over here. Yeah, that's that's true. I mean it's not not yeah, you don't necessarily have to have a champion in your deck. That is true. Sentinels of light don't fear the dark. So if they kill Senna, we get to scribe sorrows whenever we play this, create a copy in hand of an ally that died this game, so we'll be able to create a copy of Senna. Purity and heat. Um won't pass these walls. Grant an ally plus three plus three in ephemeral. That's okay. All right, so that's just going to, you know, so we just traded two for one. You know, we trade, we got their creature and we got their creature and that spell out of there. And now I play the Scribe of Sorrow and we just put uh, Senna back into our hand. So that's pretty good. We trade two of their cards just to bounce our creature. Not to bad trade. Summon two Spectral Riders. All right, so basically, I'm going to kill this thing because this is going to make all of the their ephemerals bigger. Because then these Spectral Riders would be four threes. And that's even messier. So I'm going to try to just kill that thing. I 
guess we don't get to kill it. Making the dead dead. Not so fast. But gonna trade. Because <clears throat> we can just keep on bringing Senna back. I just want to stay alive. I want to play to the late game. We have, we have a very good late game. So I want to stay alive. Until they got five cards in hand, I have six. Plus I got the creatures out in play. Return to us. We're gonna kill that, bring it back, which puts another Senna back in my hand. Oh no! Oh, it puts Scribe of Sorrows back in my hand because Scribe of Sorrows also died. So we can just go infinite on Scribe of Sorrows. Lucian! Again, I just keep my life total high. This will either give me another Scribe of Sorrows or a Lucian. Or sorry, or a Senna. Nope, oh, another Scribe of Sorrows. <laughs> so you just keep on doing this and go infinite. <laughs> hey Deadpool. The mix makes jump blocking pretty easy. Then kindle a new. Going infinite. Ah, uh, they gave us a Senna. Cool, inspired you to start playing the game? How are you liking it? I wish I had two spots for me to play Lucian, then Senna, and then attack. Kill that thing. Okay. Pretty pretty fun so far. Digging the little break from magic. Nice. Sweet. I was a little hasty on that removal spell. Now they're not going to use it to kill my Lucian, of course. They're down to just three cards. I'm over here with five. And our battlefield is better. <laughs> yes, another Scribe of Sorrows. Going infinite. Oh, I love, yeah, I love this game. Yeah, this game's awesome. And I'm I'm just really excited about how like this game's gonna evolve you know, once you get more sets and everything. Um, that's okay. I've always got your back. Don't worry about me. Right. Dead. 
down. So fast. Stand and fight. <laughs> Puppy's doing great. Yep. Yeah, Puppy Harvey, they're doing great. They kind of, I don't know, like, when I, I have the door open, so if they want to, like, come in here, but they're, they're in, like, in the back, like, where my room's in the back, and so whenever I, I come over here to, um, It's like whenever I come over here and start talking and everything, they kind of go just chill in the room and kind of lay down and give them like a bone and stuff usually. By the but. light. Yeah, Meto. Yeah, that'd be yeah, that'd be awesome. All right, well that card's good. Too bad I have infinite scribe of sorrows. Solution just needs one other creature to die. Got the three cards in hand. So just two cards now over there. Basically, I want to be able to attack with like these quick attack creatures. And if they block with their 7-5, then I can I can drain theirs first. Okay. So that's gonna flip Senna. Now sent as a 5-2 double strike, double attack. We each die. And Rekindler brings back Lucian. This is such a good value deck. So they make if they make that block and then block the the five two double attack, that's ten damage there. They're at eight. So what's that last card? Final boss defeated. That's still that's still nine. They're at eight. Final boss defeated. GG's. GG's. I'm ready with the victory music. They're thinking. They got three mana and a card in hand. Boom. G G's. Seven wins. If you get seven win expedition like we just did there, um, 
then it pays for itself. You know, then it's then it's a free expedition. We got fifteen hundred experience, which is huge. So that's a lot. Trial complete. All right, let's claim our rewards. What am I standing? Yeah, I got a a desk where I can either stand or sit. And it's just so I so I'm not sitting down all the time, you know. So it's just kind of better for like the legs, the back. So I'm not I'm not just you know sitting down for seven plus hours while we're streaming. All right, so yeah, no no extra shards it looks like. So we got our champion capsule. A word, getting the sub. Thank you, Santa After Wizard. Yeah, they did nerf the experience for expeditions. Yes. So it used to be two thousand. Now it's fifteen hundred. All right, champion capsule. <laughs> Thanks, Yud. All right, what do we got? Yasuo. Yasuo. So we, so we got our, basically we got the same amount of shards as it cost. So we got like the shards and then three rares, an epic and a champion. There's 24 total champions in the game. You can have three of it in a deck. So it's total 72 copies of champions to get them all. I'm like around like I'm in like the low 30s right now after six days. Um, and that's with like five purchased five or six purchased uh, wild cards. So I'd be in like the high 20s if I didn't if I spent no money. All right, so we get so our region rewards. Four common wild cards and a rare wild card. And then we also get a silver chest. Which have... We got... This is supposed to have four commons and a rare, but the rare was upgraded to a rare wild card. The com, This common was upgraded to a common wild card. Nice. And then three other commons. Cool. And then plus we got 357 shards. Awesome. Oh, it was upgraded to a gold chest. Oh, okay, I didn't see that. So yeah, so that that supposed to be silver chest got upgraded to a gold chest. Awesome. So there we go. Great expedition run there. That deck was really, really good. It felt like it wasn't quite a perfect because I I messed up that one loss. I you know I messed up. You're like I, I don't remember exactly what, but I remember I I did some stuff wrong with that one loss. But our deck definitely felt really strong with. Um, Lucian and Callista and uh, just our good aggressive elements, but we had such good card advantage in that deck. The, um, you know, like we saw that just that last game, that three drop, whenever you play it, you get a an ally that died that game. You get to put that in your hand. And so we it just kept on making another one of those and we kept, just kept on playing those like infinitely. That was awesome. Awesome deck. Yeah, so yeah. So maybe we need to try to make that deck and construct it. Good, good call, good call. That could be a cool constructed deck because, yeah, it felt really good. That's a good call there, Hayward. Um, but, yeah, so what we're going to be doing up next, we got two ranked decks that we're about to play. Um, Fearsome midrange. That, this is going to be like a meta deck, you know, like on from like uh, Swim's uh, tier list. And then Buffed Elusives. This is more of a um, – this, this is a deck that I put together today. We're going to try this one up first, which is kind of like from, from um, uh, these expeditions. I kind of wanted to get the elusive stuff and splash Omen Hawk in the elusive stuff. So that's that's kind of what this is built around. All right, so that's so we're about to go play some ranked. All right, but first, uh, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. I'd really appreciate that. And leave leave some comments. Um, let me know what you're playing in constructed. If you're playing like some ranked and stuff, uh, leave those deck lists um, in the YouTube comments. I'd appreciate that. All right, but thank you so much for watching some, uh, I don't know, our second expedition here. Got that seven wins, but I'll see you for the next video.